Hi friends! Today I want to share uh, my revelation which is that having a difficult conversation and facing through and having it is less painful than not having it and avoiding it. And when I say that, it probably sounds very strange or even unbelievable at times, but I want to share from my um, a fresh experience that I had yesterday. I was having this argument and difficult conversation with a, a person um, uh, I love, and um, in that conversation, um, immediate reaction after noticing that I don't like this conversation was, I want to avoid this as much as possible. Let's just stop it and let's just not continue this conversation. What's the point? And so these were the immediate reactions. And the other reaction was that um, I just wanted to misunderstand the other person um, and wanting to uh, think more of, for instance, um, whenever he was saying... Uh, like uh, I have this difficulty uh, doing this and that and uh, I wanted to interpret that more like well then he's not interested in the relationship or he's not interested in this or that and wanting to make a generalization um, of some one action that he was describing and I wanted to make that into a whole uh, a relationship description of this is what he's saying and this is what he's uh, meaning and therefore um, I don't really want to understand this uh, uh, this conversation right so there were two elements that I could see that were very prominent um, so one was uh, me wanting to avoid it because I don't like it and the other one was wanting to dis misinterpret by um, uh, using one action uh, to make it mean that um, in general he's not interested you know those conversations I'm assuming you can also relate to that conversation so so when I had this conversation uh, uh, in the past or some of the times my usual reaction is I just don't want to have this and I just end this conversation by feeling offended or hurt uh, and then not making the other person feel uh, good either so then uh, we would just end the conversation right and then afterwards what would have happened in the past is that we would just uh, I would be thinking a lot about uh, whether he's really serious about the relationship or whether um, uh, he really wants this or he really wants that even though we were talking about one action uh, one particular action so I would be uh, generalizing one action into uh, all the other areas uh, and just uh, washing through um, all the other experiences by saying well he's not interested uh, or I would be um, uh, saying uh, is there a future of this relationship, right? So there would be a lot of uh, drama uh, and uh, frustration involved after uh, finishing uh, conversa difficult conversations abruptly. So this would be the typical consequences, which would then need to be processed a lot by discussing it further, which uh, uh, there would be resistance to discuss because we would know that this is a difficult conversation. So that's why the chain of event continues going on. So this time, I did not want to. I did not want to do that. Instead, I wanted to go through it and face it, and keep noticing that I wanted to misinterpret and misunderstand and generalize, and keep noticing that I uh, wanted to avoid it. But I said to my, well, I, I told him uh, as well that let's have this conversation, let's go through this, even though we don't like it, even though we are annoyed, but let's go through this and, um, and try to understand each other's positions and uh, get the um, intention um, um, which it was to find a solution and let's have that solution. 
So we went through it and uh, we found a solution. Uh, and in the end, uh, we ended on a, a neutral note. And afterwards, what I noticed is that while my uh, brain was saying, oh, this was not pleasant, uh, this was uncomfortable, uh, I didn't really like some of the parts and all this stuff, but at the same time, I had another um, equally uh, uh, um, different or if equally different perspective of, no, I went through it. Uh, uh, we went to a solution that um, we were aiming for. Um, we ended it not abruptly, not avoiding, but went through it. And um, and it was also uh, a good sign that we can handle these type of difficult conversations uh, and go through them, knowing and overcoming our... Um, uh, tendencies of avoiding, uh, overcoming our tendencies to misinterpret or generalize or dramatize, but go through it uh, knowing that that's actually better and less painful than um, avoiding it and keep working on the chain of events. So that's why I really recommend if you are facing something like this, trying out facing it and going through it, trying to understand the other person's position, even though you want to uh, generalize or you want to um, make it sound uh, more than it is, focus on that action and focus on that solution and know that the intention of people are probably to uh, find a solution rather than hurt or offend someone. So if we have those in mind, then it's likely that after the conversation, we have a feeling of uh, being courageous to go through this conversation rather than uh, finishing it abruptly uh, and then dramatizing and keep frustrating yourself. Okay, my dears. So have a beautiful Wednesday, you all.